Welcome to today's Grow It Green. We're at Butternut Farm in Farmington, and I'm joined by New Hampshire's bug lady, Rachel Messini from UNH Cooperative <laughs> Extension. <laughs> and Rachel, you are an entomologist. So in terms of today, we're talking about pests I'm very familiar with and does a lot of damage at my house as well. Yeah, so lily leaf beetle, it's not a new pest. It's been around since the, um, around 1992. It was introduced into Cambridge, Massachusetts. They think it came over on European bulbs. So it does attack some of those prize lilies a lot of people have. So the first thing you would see in the early spring when your plants are about six inches above the ground is the adults. They're okay. active at that, at that and point. And then down below here, what yep, is this? They will lay the eggs. The eggs are bright orange or red and they're on the undersides of those leaves. So look at the underside of the you leaves. You want to monitor for those. Do you want to scrape them off? Is that what we you want to can. do? You can. You can take a wet paper towel and just squish them. Okay. Most definitely. If you miss those eggs, then you're going to start seeing the larvae. The larvae look almost like little slugs. And what they do is they actually put the excrement on their backs, so they're not hard to see, but they are. Um, they blend in a little bit. And then finally, so, this is something that uh, when I've been a little lazy, uh, my lilies start to look a little bit like that. Yeah, yeah, you definitely see a lot of damage. And what happens is they can strip the whole plant. Your lilies might not bloom. And it also puts a lot of stress on the bulbs for the, the next flowering season. Okay, so what can I do to prevent these? from? To happening? prevent this, monitoring is going to be number one. You want to go out when those plants have just popped through the ground and look for those eggs. You'll also see the adults. As soon as you see the adults, you know they're going to start feeding a little bit and those eggs are going to be laid. Now I'll pick the adults off and I'll squish them, but other ways, if the, you're a little squeamish about that, some chemicals that maybe you there can may, use or There's a few water. things. Um, what you can do is you can capture them in a, a, a funnel system and um, soapy water will work. Also, if you miss that and you do start to see the smaller larvae, you can use a neem product. Um, you can spray that on the plants and they have to um, basically will um, Kill them oh, that way. Okay, and I know that they're working on some predators as well, but I gather that's a few years maybe away. Yes, it is. Yep. All right. So. All right, well, hopefully you follow some of the Rachel's advice here, and your lilies won't end up looking like mine often do. And uh, there's also a fact sheet here that the Cooperative Extension puts out that will give you some more information as well. That's it for today's Grow It Green. All right.